They carved colossal stone, heads that have stared silently across centuries. They built complex ceremonial centers, created intricate art, and laid the cultural foundations for some of the greatest civilizations the Americas have ever known. Yet, for all their grandeur and influence, the Almec people have remained shrouded in mystery. For decades, archaeologists, historians, and even conspiracy theorists have tried to piece together the puzzle of who the Almecs were. Were they a lost African civilization, a seafaring culture from Asia, or were they native to the very jungles and river valleys of what is now southern Mexico? With no written records left behind and their cities swallowed by the tropical forest long ago, the truth seemed forever buried beneath the soil of ancient Mesoamerica. But now, something remarkable has changed. In recent years, scientists have begun turning to an entirely new kind of evidence, ancient DNA. And what they've discovered is rewriting everything we thought we knew about the Almecs. Thanks to breakthroughs in genetic sequencing and the recovery of DNA from long-lost burials, researchers are now able to peer deep into the biological heritage of the Almec people. And their findings are surprising, enlightening, and deeply human. What if the Almecs weren't some outsiders from a distant land, but instead the children of this very continent, descendants of ancient migrations that go back thousands of years? What if their story is less about lost worlds and more about cultural transformation, continuity, and resilience? In this video, we're diving deep into the DNA of the Almec civilization. We'll explore the latest science, dismantle outdated myths, and uncover what genetic evidence tells us about one of history's most enigmatic peoples. The truth, as it turns out, has been waiting in their bones all along. Before there was Maya writing, before the Aztec Empire, there were the Almec, often referred to as Mesoamerica's mother civilization. They thrived between roughly 1600 and 400 BCE, occupying the swampy lowlands of what are now Veracruz and Tabasco in southern Mexico. Their culture didn't just appear from nowhere. It emerged over generations of development, blending local innovation with inherited traditions from even earlier societies. The Almec were urban builders, creating ceremonial centers like San Lorenzo, La Venta, and Tres Sapotes. These weren't cities in the modern sense, but they were dense with ritual spaces, large-scale sculptures, and elite residences. The most iconic of all Almec creations are the massive basalt heads some weighing over 20 tons. These heads, with their unique facial features and distinct headgear, likely represent rulers or warriors, showing a society that was already stratified and organized. Their influence was far-reaching. Symbols, art styles, and religious motifs that first appeared in Almec centers later spread across much of Mesoamerica. You can see Almec fingerprints in the architecture of later civilizations, the ballgame courts they built, and even in religious iconography that endured for centuries. Despite this, they left behind no deciphered writing system, making their story harder to reconstruct. The mystery of the Almec origins has puzzled researchers for decades. Some early theories suggested influences from Africa or Asia, often based more on the appearance of the stone, heads, than hard evidence. These ideas have since been widely dismissed by mainstream scholars who emphasize local continuity and development. But the question remained, where did the Almec come from, genetically speaking? Until recently, we had only archaeology to answer that. But now, genetic science is giving us something we've never had before, biological clues from ancient remains that help define their ancestry. These clues are helping scientists map the migrations and populations that gave rise to the Almec civilization and connect them to the broader story of the first peoples of the Americas. Their legacy is no longer just carved in stone, it's written in their DNA. And that's what we'll explore next. For many years, scholars relied on artifacts and architecture to understand the Almec people. While their colossal heads and ceremonial centers offered powerful clues about their society and culture, the question of their actual origins remained a mystery. Were they descendants of even earlier Mesoamerican populations, or did they arrive from elsewhere? Thanks to the emerging field of ancient DNA analysis, we're finally beginning to get some answers. 
In recent years, archaeogenetics, the study of ancient DNA, has started to reshape our understanding of early American civilizations. By extracting genetic material from ancient human remains found at Olmec sites, scientists are now able to piece together the ancestry of this once elusive civilization. While the fragile and humid conditions of the Gulf Coast aren't ideal for DNA preservation, a few bone samples, especially teeth, have yielded results after years of careful excavation and lab refinement. The findings so far are groundbreaking. The DNA from individuals associated with Olmec sites reveals deep genetic continuity with earlier hunter-gatherer populations in the Americas. In other words, the Olmec weren't outsiders. They were the descendants of the very first people to arrive in the Americas thousands of years ago, likely via the Bering Land Bridge. Their genetic profiles align closely with other ancient and modern indigenous groups of Central and South America. Interestingly, the data also show that the Almec were not a genetically isolated group. There are signs of interaction with surrounding populations, suggesting trade, intermarriage, and cultural exchange across regions long before the rise of the Maya or Aztec civilizations. This paints a picture of a dynamic society embedded in a larger, vibrant Mesoamerican world. While we're still in the early stages of fully decoding Almec genetics, these discoveries are helping put to rest some of the more speculative theories about their origins. There is no evidence to support the idea of foreign routes from Africa, Asia, or Europe. Instead, the Almec story is firmly American, rooted in the deep and ancient indigenous past of the continent. Their DNA adds a new chapter to their legacy, one that not only clarifies who they were, but connects them more deeply to the broader story of the first Americans. To truly understand the genetic roots of the Almec, we need to look at the bigger picture, the epic journey of the first humans into the Americas. The Almec didn't appear in isolation. They emerged from a long line of migrations, adaptations, and cultural shifts that began tens of thousands of years ago. Most scientists agree that the ancestors of all indigenous peoples of the Americas came from Northeast Asia. These ancient humans crossed the Bering Land Bridge, known as Beringia, during the last Ice Age, when sea levels were low enough to connect modern-day Siberia and Alaska. From there, they gradually moved southward, settling across the vast landscapes of North and South America. Genetic studies of early human remains across the continent reveal that by around 9,000 years ago, distinct regional populations had started forming. One of these settled in what would become Mesoamerica, a region that includes present-day Mexico and parts of Central America. Over thousands of years, these groups transitioned from hunter-gatherer societies into early agricultural communities, planting crops like maize, beans, and squash. The Almec emerged from this background around 1600 BCE. DNA evidence shows they share strong genetic ties with earlier archaic period inhabitants of Mesoamerica. This suggests a clear line of cultural and genetic continuity rather than sudden arrival or foreign influence. The Almec didn't come from somewhere else. They were the next stage in the development of the people who had been living in that region for millennia. More fascinating still is the genetic similarity between the Almec and other early cultures in Mesoamerica, like those of the Zapotec and early Maya. This points to a shared ancestry and perhaps even common origin points before these groups branched off into their distinct identities. This interconnectedness, both genetic and cultural, laid the groundwork for the later flourishing of Mesoamerican civilization. In other words, the Almec were not an isolated people or a mysterious anomaly. They were a vital thread in the larger human tapestry of the Americas, part of the same great migration that filled two continents and gave rise to countless cultures. Their genes, just like their monuments, speak of innovation, resilience, and deep roots in American soil. Though the Almec civilization faded by around 400 BCE, their influence lived on, not just in stone, but in blood. Their legacy is woven into both the cultural traditions and genetic heritage of Mesoamerican peoples who followed. Culturally, the Almec are often called the mother civilization of Mesoamerica, and for good reason. Many hallmarks of later civilizations, like the Maya, Zapotec, and Mexica Aztec, trace their origins to Almec innovations. 
These include monumental architecture, complex religious systems, early writing symbols, and even Mesoamerica's famed ballgame. The Almec were among the first in the region to develop large urban centers, and their artistic styles, especially their colossal stone heads and jade figurines, continued to inspire long after their cities were abandoned. But what about their genetic legacy? Thanks to recent advances in ancient DNA extraction, scientists are beginning to map the genetic signatures of the Almec. While DNA from Almec individuals is limited due to the humid conditions of the Gulf Coast, enough has been recovered to draw important conclusions. The genetic material studied so far links the Almec directly with earlier populations of Mesoamerica and shows continuity with modern indigenous groups living in southern and central Mexico today. This means that the Almec were not wiped out or replaced. Instead, they gradually blended into neighboring cultures, contributing both their genes and ideas. As their major cities declined, people likely migrated into other regions, carrying Almec traditions with them and intermarrying with local populations. Over time, the distinct Almec identity faded, but their DNA persisted, quietly passing from generation to generation. Today, the descendants of the Almec live in plain sight. Many indigenous groups of Mexico, especially the mixed Soque-speaking peoples, carry cultural and genetic markers that can be traced back to Almec ancestry. Their languages, stories, and community practices are living echoes of a civilization that helped shape the foundation of Mesoamerican history. In essence, the Almec legacy isn't just carved in stone or buried beneath ancient ruins. It lives on in the people, in their blood, their languages, and the rhythms of life that continue in the regions where the Almec once ruled. Their story didn't end. It evolved. For decades, the Almec were labeled the mother culture of Mesoamerica, a civilization that supposedly birthed all others. This phrase, while meant to highlight their influence, has often oversimplified a far more complex reality. Recent research, especially in archaeology and genetics, is challenging this linear narrative and inviting us to view the Almec not as the sole originators of civilization in the region, but as participants in a larger, dynamic web of early cultures. It's now clear that while the Almec were advanced and influential, they didn't exist in a vacuum. They were one of several thriving societies in early Mesoamerica, exchanging ideas, technologies, and possibly even populations with their neighbors. Evidence shows that groups in Oaxaca and Chiapas were developing parallel advancements in agriculture, pottery, and ritual practices at the same time. In fact, some symbols and motifs thought to be Almec have now been found in even earlier contexts elsewhere. Genetic evidence supports this interconnected picture. Ancient DNA reveals that the Almec shared close genetic ties with neighboring groups, suggesting widespread interaction and population flow rather than isolation or dominance. Instead of a mother culture giving rise to child civilizations, it may be more accurate to imagine a family of cultures, each influencing and shaping the others over time. By rethinking this narrative, we move beyond myths of cultural hierarchy and embrace a richer story one of shared innovation, exchange, and mutual development. The Almec were certainly pivotal, but they were not alone. They were part of a broader tapestry that made Mesoamerica one of the most sophisticated and enduring cultural regions in the ancient world. Ancient DNA has revolutionized how we understand the peopling of the Americas, and the Almec fit into this story in surprising ways. Once seen as a mysterious and isolated culture, Genetic studies now show the Almec were part of a rich, continent-wide mosaic of indigenous populations with deep roots and remarkable diversity. By analyzing ancient remains from Almec and nearby sites, scientists have found that the genetic signatures of the Almec people are not foreign or anomalous. Instead, their ancestry ties them directly to earlier Paleo-American groups who migrated into the Americas more than 13,000 years ago. These early settlers came from Northeast Asia, crossing the Bering Land Bridge during the last Ice Age. Over time, these populations split into distinct cultural and genetic lineages, one of which gave rise to the peoples who would eventually build the Almec civilization. More fascinating still, 
The Almec share genetic similarities with other major Mesoamerican groups like the Maya and Zapotec. This shows there was significant interaction, both cultural and biological, across regions. It also underscores a key point. Ancient Mesoamerica wasn't made up of isolated nations, but of constantly mixing and evolving communities. DNA analysis also dismisses outdated theories that proposed African, European, or Asian origins for the Almec, ideas that lacked evidence but persisted in fringe circles. The science now confirms it. The Almec were indigenous Americans, deeply rooted in the land they cultivated and worshipped. In short, ancient DNA doesn't just trace bloodlines. It reveals connections, migrations, and shared human experiences. And for the Almec, it places them firmly within the broader story of Native American diversity, one that stretches across millennia and unites ancient civilizations under a shared ancestral legacy. The Almec civilization may have vanished more than 2,000 years ago, but thanks to modern science, their legacy is more alive than ever. Today, DNA studies, archaeology, and cultural anthropology are helping us see the Almec not as some lost or mysterious people, but as real, complex human beings, builders, artists, farmers, and spiritual leaders, who laid the groundwork for later Mesoamerican civilizations. This rediscovery isn't just academic. It's deeply personal for indigenous communities in Mexico and Central America. Genetic continuity in the region means that many modern indigenous peoples may carry echoes of Almec ancestry in their DNA. These are not just the descendants of Maya or Aztecs, but of the civilizations that came before, including the Almec. This connection reinforces the idea that native identity isn't frozen in time. It's part of a living heritage that spans thousands of years. Science also plays a role in challenging the stereotypes that long clouded our view of the Almec. For decades, their giant stone heads and advanced urban planning led some to suggest they must have come from somewhere else, that such sophistication couldn't have developed in the Americas. But that was never true. And now, with hard genetic data, we can finally put those myths to rest. The Almec weren't outsiders. They were local innovators, deeply rooted in the American continent. As we piece together their story, what emerges isn't just a clearer picture of the Almec. It's a deeper understanding of our shared human journey. Whether through DNA strands or carved basalt, the Almec are speaking to us still. And as science continues to evolve, their voice in the story of human civilization will only grow louder, reminding us that the past is never truly gone. It's simply waiting to be understood.